Hey guys, so today I want to talk a little bit about open source intelligence on search engines and how you can use special characters to find more accurate results. So let's first let's talk about how we might find documents that say you couldn't find on Multigo. A lot of open source intelligence, what it comes down to is intuition. You are basically trying to guess what a page may look like, what it may contain, and the most important thing here is intuition. Of course, you know, things like search characters, they're necessary as well, but your intuition might build you a longer chain of information. So like my previous video on Multigo, how I showed that some of my own, you know, knowledge on GitHub allowed me to find a possible account for the example we used. So see my previous Multigo video to find out what I'm talking about there. Did a little interesting example on that one. So let's look for a book. Let's say we want to read a book. File type is a special search term. So we do file type colon then PDF. That will find us books. If we want to find text files, we'll do file type TXT. If we want to find, you know, documents, we'll do file type and doc and we'll find nothing but documents. As you can see, the first things that come up are just, you know, obviously the current events, documents. So as you can see, it even shows you that it's a document file. If I were to click on it, I would be able to read those documents. But you can add to that. You can say, I want to find documents on court records, you know, and then you could do a state, say, Michigan or something, just for an example here. We could do that. What we're doing here is we're just going over some of the basic search characters that can help you find out more about what you're looking for. So we're going to go and look up books as we mentioned. We're going to have to do file type PDF. That's only going to return PDFs. And then we're going to say we want to learn, let's say, Java programming. It's going to return all results that are PDFs, that are Java programming in the title or in the description. So we've got a variety of different books. Of course, if you find any books that cost money, make sure you pay for them before you read them. Say you want to look for a book on farming. Of course, you would just change that search term to farming. Let's say we want to find a variety of different types of farming. Well, then we would introduce an asterisk. Anytime you introduce an asterisk in a search engine, the asterisk represents anything and everything. So in this case, we're going to find PDF files or books that have the title or description or content that is anything farming. So it could be corn farming, it could be anything farming. And because we use the asterisk, it's going to basically, you know, fill in the gaps for us. So we could use that to, you know, find names, different, you know, websites. We can use those asterisks, we can use the quotations, and we can do some of these, a lot of digging using these special characters. So these are some interesting ones. Another one is the cache. If you use the cache, you're able to find things that may have been deleted, and you'll put in cache, colon, and then you'll put the website it may even return some results that they had deleted because a cache is stored memory from before. It's not necessarily the current website. It would be the stored page from the past. So if somebody thinks they deleted all their stuff, they didn't. You know, as, as the saying goes, the internet remembers forever. So that's a few of those search terms that may help you like this video, share it, subscribe. I really appreciate the support and any comments are appreciated. If you have any suggestions for future videos, leave a comment below or a question and I'll be back later with more on open source intelligence and protecting your privacy.